Uh, so, <laughs> I'm like recording this right after I read it. And I'm kind of like still processing. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, let's just kind of get into it because I, this was not on my bingo card for 2023 uh, as far as ESO is concerned, right? Uh, on a on their official Twitter account, the other schools online stated, as of today, we are pausing in-game gifting via the Crown Store for the foreseeable future. We understand that the ability to gift to friends is of value to many of you. I mean, friends, right? And are exploring options to re-enable gifting in the future. Uh... So this is kind of like following, I, I guess this is yet another episode of the Crown Store Saga we've been covering on the, on the channel. Because uh, we, we, do, we do cover almost everything is related. Uh, so I guess if I had to give a summary timeline for people who missed out on the previous videos. Basically, late quarter one. PC, NA, and PC EU gifting, I think, was uh, disabled for crown crates. And then, of course, that's when, like, all the theories popped up about, oh, well, they're doing this polymorph bundle with the crown crates that you have to buy, you can't gift that. And then later, it, like, there were multiple communications from Kevin, who was the forum manager. He's now a community manager for, for ESO. Um and Zoss, and they basically said, like, we're looking into it, because then they said it's not a matter of a bug or anything like that. It was because of fraudulent activity, and of course, that's, that uh, spurred on not just discussions or theories as to what the fra what that fraudulent activity could be, but, uh, and I talked about this a little bit, that it might have been a mistake to say that, potentially, like publicly, because... Uh, probably, you know, once people know that there's a way to cheat or to get away with things or to exploit or to, you know, in, in this case, defraud, <laughs> people will probably try it. People will probably do it. And the last update was uh, them disabling gifting for uh, console. So no one could gift crown crates. And then I think the latest episode was, if I remember correctly, um, they set up customer support to handle crown store, or not, not crown store, crown crate gifting. And of course, that went about as well as you could expect. It was, it was about 50-50 experience for a lot of people. Um, and there was a lot of confusion with uh, customer support citing terms of service, or sorry, not and, and code of conduct violations if you're gifting to... Uh, gifting crown crates to people and there was a streamer that was just doing giveaway and of course they got that same uh automated response i suppose but um apart from that it's been pretty quiet but today uh i will <laughs> i woke up to this and i was like there's no way because uh, someone pinged me and i was like okay there's no but i was like no way holy shit no way. And I read this. And I'm like, you know what I mean? And it, it, for those of you doubting that maybe, oh, maybe the Twitter account got hacked or something. There's a forum post as well that, that, that of course, they linked to by Kevin. Um, starting today, we are pausing in-game gifting for the foreseeable future due to ongoing fraudulent activity. Or, sorry, behavior. We understand that the ability to gift friends and guildmates is desired and of value to many of you. We'll continue to explore options that will allow us to re-enable in-game gifting again in the future. And this is for not PC, not for console, for everybody. You can no longer gift anything, not just crown cards, anything from the crown store to people. Uh, and I talked a little about a little bit about this really small possibility that they'll probably do it. Very small. And I talked about the potential consequences of doing this. And the list of consequences uh, 
if I remember correctly, I said was, well, short term, it's probably going to shake up a lot of things. I mean, we're talking about entire communities and uh, Discord servers and uh, guild functions and events centered around Crown Crate, or not Crown Crate, sorry, Crown Story gifting. We're talking about entire in-game player economies being shaken up because for the longest time now since what 2018 at this point uh crown creek so crown store i keep saying crown Creek. crown store gifting is like it's such a huge thing i i don't i don't know where to start but short term it's gonna cause a lot of hectic messes um I think for sure it will turn off a lot of people's interest in the game, especially if they are a veteran player who has nothing to spend their gold on apart from multipots or a build, the occasional builds at this point, right? Because nothing much is changing. And, uh, of course, the, the guilds that accumulated, the trade guilds that accumulated a lot of gold from um, the uh, essentially, like, allowed uh, RMT... It, they're gonna stay on top for a little bit, but I think long term, it, it might stabilize. Like in terms of prices and stuff like that, we might see um, prices in the player economy go down eventually. To where, I mean, I, it really depends as well on how long they're gonna pause or stop in-game gifting for. It's a lot to wrap my mind around at the moment because there's so many things and uh guilds and all <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot that's gonna go go on i think um and i don't know if this is a good or bad timing in tr for eso so it's no secret that 2023 is literally gonna be one of the golden years of gaming just so many good games coming out and that have come out um Yesterday was Starfield, early access launch. Everyone I know is playing Starfield. And uh, much of the world is playing Starfield. So maybe this was, in their eyes, a good time to do it while everybody in ESO, at least the long-term players, are going away or are gone playing other games. So maybe they figured this, that this is a good time to do it. I can see that uh, reasoning. And on the other hand, I feel like it harms their, their their relevancy in indirect ways within the MMO space. That's not a very driving space already. So it's like, uh, I think it's just, no matter what you think about the whole crown exchange thing, I think it did provide incentive in a game where there are no incentives for people to play. So it's really, it's such a, I don't know, it's like a, it's such, it's so like, I did not expect this at all. I just didn't. And I just did not. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of curious what other people are saying about this because I, I'm just, I just did not expect this. And, you know, this kind of brings up my question of, is it that bad? This fraudulent activity or this fraudulent behavior, is it that bad? I, I know so many of you have commented multiple theories and uh, multiple, like, uh, things or claims about uh, the various means of fraudulent activity in ESO or for ESO, but, like, is it is it really that bad they have to shut it down i mean so they must be bleeding a lot more money than they are gaining through crown store gifting at this point which is crazy that's a crazy amount i don't think people understand or fathom how much money went into uh what went into their you know coffers when Crown store gifting became um, a thing for basically crown exchanges. 
And if the amount that they are bleeding from the fraudulent activity uh, is more than they're gaining, that's just, that's crazy too, honestly. I, I'm just kind of curious what other people think. <laughs> Zoss, what the fuck? Okay. Well, there gives any bigger raffle items for small traders trying to make some gold for their spots. Sure, but it also shuts off the same access for the bigger guilds, I'd say. Just again, like I said earlier, short term, the guilds that have accumulated gold from all this staying on top for a while. I mean, that, that's unavoidable. Um, hopefully this might lead to an official crown trading system without having to rely on trust. You know, I feel like they could have done that very early on when they set up the gifting thing. I am not sure why they didn't. It could have been a separate trade window or something. Or it could be the same trading window, just with a different, somehow enabled different currency, but I don't know how, exactly how that will work on the technical end without breaking the game. Um, I don't know if you're going to stop, let everyone exchange crowns for gold, something you're used to allow. If you do that, know that a massive portion of the community will stop playing. A massive portion? Uh, I guess we, I guess we have to look at the sellers as well. The seller perspective of crowns, but I don't think it'll be. I, I'm sure I think it'll be significant. I don't know, massive. Uh, I don't know, maybe the same thing in this case. Oh man, they're practically killing their game. Many of their community farm gold for that, which is bad on their part. Bye bye, guild flash raffles and mortal trader. <laughs> no, nah, the mortal traders will be fine. Oh man. Okay. Gifting was a big part of your game. It makes zero sense to get rid of it. I'm sure they don't want to get rid of it, but if it's that bad, that's crazy. There, there's, of course, a forum thread already about this. Um, more and more, it seems the game is doing everything it can to alienate the endgame community. I don't think it's... Uh, this does not affect just the endgame community. That's all I'm going to say right here. Um, of course, it'll certainly affect carries and stuff like that. Again, we'll see how it pans out long term. Short term, this is going to be one hell of a chaotic mess, um, from my perspective. Back to the pre update 18 period for now. <laughs> oh man. Okay. They should disable the whole crowd and start making some worthwhile rewards for doing things in the game. Say, I'm down for the second half. I think they can do this without shutting down the ground store. I've, I've repeatedly said this. I don't know why they just don't. Um, and we can only speculate. I've done some speculation in the past as to why they don't. They disabled the biggest gold sink in the game. I don't think you're... So this is not... Th this, Okay, so crown exchanges, crown store gifting, it's not a gold sink. From the buy perspective, sure, it's a gold sink in the sense that you don't have your gold anymore. But that, but the definition of gold sink in ESO, or really in any game, um, is where your gold, your currency, essentially goes back into the system, essentially disappears. So no, no player has access to that gold. Crown store gifting, crown exchanges give the illusion that you are putting your gold into a gold sink, but no, your gold is simply being transferred to another player or entity. So, uh, no, it's not a gold, it was not a gold sink. It's not going to affect the economy like that. It's going to affect some other aspects of the economy I've mentioned, but yeah, it's a terrible idea. Ah, oh, man, yeah, this is this was so surprising. I don't know if it was just me being surprised. I'm sure there'll be some people out there, oh, yeah, I, I saw this coming all along. I don't know about that. Like, I, I, I am just so shocked <laughs> by, by this move. Um, I just, ne I've never thought it would... Man. Uh, wow. Okay. This is honestly really bad. Okay. The damage is monumental. The message is bleak. Do they know how fundamental this is to the game economy? 
For sure. Oh, yeah, this, okay, yeah, this person corrected the other person. I didn't have to do that. I don't know. So it was legal to buy crowns for gold after all? No, it was never, it was not illegal or against terms of service. They even okay the, uh, ver a ver at various points. It's just, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this whole thing. I personally, if I were to continue to play ESO, I personally wouldn't mind the absence of crowns, crown, crown exchanges because it's like, well, we we were fine without it before. We were fine in ESO before the crown server became as big as it is as well. But we we, all, we were also very worried at the time about the possible ramifications of having this essential RMT legal or not legal allowed RMT. And how it would affect the in-game economies and, you know, trade guilds. And of course, there were ramifications. But of course, you know, people don't care about that because they just want to buy that, uh, buy that, buy that 15 crown crate bundle. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Okay. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious what people will say in the YouTube comments. Of course, there'll be a couple unhinged people commenting but that's that's usual but I, I, would, I would definitely like to know uh, everyone else's opinions about this wham